Aloha guys, this is JohnRemus.com TV broadcasting live from, guess what, the Trump Tower we're rolling into. So, is that is that a drama situation? I'd say so, but I think there's more, I think there's more to do out there. I, I think what we need to do is look at stuff we can easily figure out. Sometimes politics is difficult to comprehend or understand. And I feel like, what can we easily look at? Like for example, what are the preventative ways of cancer and some other health situations? Uh, going vegan, worth looking into, you know. And, and they have a lot of vegan alternatives to meat products too. So there's a lot of good flavor out there to, to, to really think about and feel good about. And, you know, sometimes it's just familiarity. What are we familiar with? We're familiar with having doctors uh, tell us what to do or, or dentists. But what if their pharmacological drugs and, uh, say, fluoride, which I believe is very poisonous, uh, there, what if there are healthy alternatives to them? So what can, what can we do to do something positive for ourselves? I feel like there are other things that are easy to figure out, easy to, you know, improve. Get, get us to a place where we don't need to worry about stuff anymore. But, but the trick is, is to fix things that you can fix, right? Figure out stuff that you can take care of. And so the way that I do that is, is I, I look at things in society. I look at, well, how about someone How about somebody just checking out the cool views here, you know, having a little fun. You know, part of capitalism is a positive thing, you know, like people work hard and they, they invest, you know, some people feel entitled to money, other people want to invest it and that's how you really make money and think about it, maybe that's a positive thing. Obviously it's not good when people pollute and Make the place, make the place an undesirable, make the place an undesirable place to be. But, but what we need is we need to be able to do something positive for ourselves, which is feel good and give ourselves the opportunity to not be burdened psychologically by other people. And the way to do that is to. People that you don't like, try to avoid. Don't try to attack them, because all it's doing is consuming energy uh, and giving it to them. Instead, you know, make make a make some energy for you. Make time for you and your dreams and people you value. And and something, you know, it's just flipping it, flipping the whole thing so you feel good about it. If so, you walk by someone on the street and they upset you, instead, imagine them in their head. Imagine that they are. Uh, imagine in your head after that they said hi to you. It has the same effect. And it, it's such a nice thing to experience. To check out this nice painting here. Such a nice thing to experience when you realize that you can be in control of your mind and your emotions. You know, controlling all of your, your wants, needs, and desires. Of course, starting with wants, right? Your wants have to do with what you, how you feel, you know, and your emotions, and not hoping that other people are going to apologize to you or, or feel bad, badly for you, or, or good for you, or encourage you, or forgive you, or any, anything like that. It's, it's all some stuff that you can do for yourself. And, and why not do that? Why not put yourself in a place where you can feel good about who you are? You can feel that, you know, I'm me, I'm an individual, and I care about other people, but I put myself first. A lot of times one might think that, oh, you know, other people need your energy or your time, or they f look lonely or anything. You know, empower people to figure this stuff out for themselves, like figure out what, to, when you feel fulfilled, when you no longer feel lonely, it's because you're making time for yourself. You know, you're actually making an effort. We've got a cool uh, shot here. 
That's a cool shot. Uh, making making yourself, you know, feel good. And it's possible with words. That's that's what words are. They empower you. Exercise, music listening, art. You know, all of it. It's, it's all a positive thing, and it doesn't require anyone else. Just like self intimacy. You know, pleasuring yourself. Just like in the shot there, the view. Just like, you know, meeting your basic needs, not hoping other people will, not hoping that other people will create your reality. That, oh, somebody else will buy me that fancy jewelry or whatever item it is. Instead, wanting something more, wanting yourself to create that so it's like a trophy for you. And not wanting other people to take care of things. You know, sometimes the subconscious programming resulted from maybe certain religions things makes you expect oh someone else will save us from this difficult life instead let's m work on generational improvement and make it better and better and when you when you no longer find that you're subject to your desires you're in a powerful position and i would say that that's about 10 different ways that you can Make your reality yours. Thanks for considering.